perfect. I can hear well. you pretty well. Love so how are you today? Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So, Carlo Alvaro, first of all, tell our listeners about your personal story, because I think it's a very inspiring story. Uh, you were born in a small town in the suburbs of Torino, Italy, and you decided to move to the United States without any academic title. And, and then what happened? Well, that's a long story. How much time do we have? <laughs> okay. So let's start. So we, um, okay, so I, we, we do it in English, not in Italian. Yeah. Uh, I hope the, uh, the Italians understand. Well, they, they do, yeah. <laughs> so I, as you mentioned, I, uh, I grew up in a small town, uh, but not that small, but it's a small town in the, in the province of Turin. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Nicolino, mm -hmm. that's the name of the town. I went to school there. Uh, nothing, nothing exciting. <laughs> well, typical kid growing up in Italy, mm -hmm. 80s and 90s. Went to school, middle school. Um, then when, when I was in, um, when I was in Italy, I don't know if you remember this, it was mandatory for, uh, for males to go to the army, to serve in the army. Oh, so yeah. I served in the army. And um, I think uh, I was, at that point, when I was 18 years old, I didn't mm -hmm. know what, what I wanted to do with my life. So uh, I experimented. I stayed, uh, I signed up and I stayed an additional year in the army. So I, I served two years in a paratroopers. And um, after which I, I left and, uh, and, I'm, and I regret even uh, serving in the army because it was a, not a good experience. But anyway, that's beside the point. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I... Um, I, I had finished uh, middle school mm -hmm. and started high school before the army. This is before the army, okay? Um, but high school didn't go well, so I didn't finish it. I never finished high school, essentially. Mm -hmm. I, um, I attended a high school for graphic arts mm -hmm. for uh, about six months. Then I, I decided to get a job. I worked, mm -hmm. uh, I was, at that time I was passionate about photography. Mm. By the way, if you hear some noises because I'm in a, in a teacher's lounge. That's I'm okay. <laughs> no problem. So at that time, I was passionate about photography. So I, I, got, a, I got a job in a, in a photo studio I, where I developed photos. I took some pictures. I, I thought mm -hmm. I wanted to be a photographer. Mm -hmm. But that didn't work out. Okay, so I moved on. Uh, then there's the army. I come back from the army. And, um, and I start working with um, quite the different kind, kinds of jobs. Um, and um, the, uh, the main one was in a factory. So I worked in a factory. Mm -hmm. This is the type of factory that you see in the movies, big factory with these long uh, assembly lines, metal work industry with uh, you know, fire and noise and, and smoke, that kind of stuff that you have to work with earplugs for eight hours a day. Sure. And, um, that was uh, essentially my experience of hell on earth. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. In, the, that, in that factory, if you're curious, I, uh, it's a factory that I think it closed down now. Oh. It's, um, the name is Fergat. They, uh, they make um, car wheels mm -hmm. for um, different uh, car makes, whatever. And um, my job essentially was to, uh, to stand in front of a big machine that molded these circles, these uh, car wheels, just the, uh, the wheel part, not the, the tires. And um, I just have to, uh, for eight hours, I had to stare at this machine, making sure that it didn't stop, didn't do any, misbehave, essentially. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine a person like me, eight hours. A creative person, right? <laughs> yeah. You are creative. I, I hated that. Yeah. But if you, uh, if you were, you're from Italy mm -hmm. and you know, and you uh, left Italy for the same reason, I guess, similar reasons, because Italy yeah. uh, 
similar. Yeah. That allow you to to uh, to express yourself in many different ways. It's beautiful. Sure, we hear about the it is the sun yeah. and the beach and this and whatever. <laughs> it doesn't allow you to express yourself. Not great opportunities, though. <laughs> not, not great, yeah. especially in education, because I could not have done what I could have done here in, in the States. Mm -hmm. So, so at one point, I decided to um, to leave. Mm -hmm. to change, well, I decided to change my life. Let's put it this way. And uh, and so I, I guess I, I thought I had two options if I want to change my life. One is I say I change job, I get another job. Uh, I live in the same town, uh, or maybe I, I move to a different town. That's an option. The other option is if you really want to change your life, you have to change everything. And I mean it. And I did. So I started thinking about, started towing with the idea of leaving Italy altogether. And uh, for years, I had the, uh, the idea of the United States. I liked the, uh, the culture. I know. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that, <laughs> you know, they're not very positive, but still, I like the, uh, the idea, this, this idea of lots of opportunities, more opportunities. Mm -hmm. than you mm -hmm. get. And, uh, and the idea of living in a, in, a, in a giant metropolis like New York City, right? Yeah, where, that's uh, where you live now, right? Exactly. Where okay. I, I live in Manhattan right Manhattan. now. Manhattan, oh. Yes. <laughs> And uh, and I teach in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. University in Brooklyn. We're going to talk about that later. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So uh, you are assistant professor of philosophy, right? Yes. At New York yeah. College of Technology. New York City College of Technology. It's the okay. uh, University of the, uh, mm -hmm. the City of New York. Great. Great. Yeah. So uh, I, so uh, in um, in two thousand around two thousand and one, mm -hmm. I was ready to. Uh, to take the, the big step to leave mm -hmm. Italy for good. And um, it, it took me a couple of years to, uh, to get everything together. And, uh, yeah. and in 2003, beginning of 2003, I finally decided and, uh, and I came here. I came here, I have to say, um, probably in retrospect, I have to say it was not a great idea because I, I did not organize anything. I didn't mm -hmm. plan anything. I didn't have a plan, plan A or plan B or I had zero. Whatever, plan. zero I, plan. Uh, wow. I purchased uh, a ticket, I, a flight, came here, and um, and, and see what here. happens. <laughs> Living here. Okay. Uh, now I have to mention that I very that brave. I, I already I already had a green card, so mm -hmm. that was not an issue. Mm -hmm. And um, but other than that, I had. As, as we say in, in Italian, no, ne arte ne parte. <laughs> I had no, uh, I didn't finish high school. Mm -hmm. I, uh, essentially, I didn't know, uh, I, I didn't have a, a, a profession. Okay. Um, so uh, for, uh, for a couple of years, I worked in, uh, in restaurants, Italian restaurants, so as a server, a waiter, also mm -hmm. worked as a manager. And um, and then uh, I guess I, I have to say it was my my wife who uh, probably was instrumental in my, my decision to uh, go back to college, get an mm -hmm. education, and eventually become a professor. Mm -hmm. so, my wife, so she pushed you to study? She, she pushed me because she realized mm -hmm. that, that, that I... That it, could, it was that necessary. I had the <laughs> to, uh, to do something, mm -hmm. whatever that might be whether uh, uh, go to school and, and mm -hmm. get a higher degree. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, the problem was I didn't have a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had to, uh, to get a GED, what is called a general equivalency by diploma. Yeah. I, um, I did that. That was easy. Mm -hmm. And I immediately uh, applied to... Uh, to college, mm -hmm. which, by the way, is the same college where I now teach. I oh. was a student here. Yes. In fact, I remember my. So, what was your major? My major. Okay, my first major was mm. legal studies. Mm -hmm. um, 
but that's that's because I I applied to different colleges and I was admi admitted to this college. This college mm -hmm. did not have a major in philosophy, so I had to major in something that I was interested in, which was legal studies. Mm -hmm. After so after two years, I mm -hmm. um, I finished. Uh, uh, my my program, uh, my associate degree program. Mm -hmm. Af after which I changed college. I went to with the City College of New York. Still, it, it's it's um, CUNY College, the City of New uh, University of New York, where uh, they have philosophy major. And so I majored in philosophy. Mm -hmm. I had a bachelor's degree in philosophy. Uh, in the meantime, I was working. I was teaching or tutoring. Um, so, for as I as I mentioned, I, I worked in the restaurants for a couple of years. I worked in the bank. I did mm -hmm. different jobs, and, um, and finally, when I when I started to, um, going to college, I also started tutoring. Mm -hmm. So I started as an English tutor, and then I um, I became a, an adjunct professor of philosophy. Uh, meantime, I got my uh, bachelor's degree. Then mm -hmm. I applied to graduate school. Um, I applied to uh, Queens College, where I got mm -hmm. a master's degree in uh, in in liberal studies. Mm -hmm. Then my second master's degree was in philosophy. Uh, I went to the New School, so I got a master's there at the New School in philosophy. And uh, and then I continued it there at the new school where I finally got my doctorate degree, my PhD in philosophy. And um, I specialize in, in ethics, moral philosophy. Mm -hmm. And um, my dissertation was, in fact, a work on animal ethics. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very interested in uh, ethics, yeah. but especially in animal ethics. And then that uh, led me to... Uh, Working in in, uh, in nutrition science, in uh, ethical veganism, uh, and I published. Okay, that's that's today's topic. Okay, that's, so uh, that's essentially the end of the story. So great, I, great achievements! Congratulations. 